Joe, what did the Heat do so well to take Chris Stops out of the game at different times early on and obviously came back on late? Uh, just up to physicality, switching, higher pickup points. Uh, just got to fight for spacing and, and fight for those two-on-ones uh, in the screening. But, um, you know, on, on many of the screens, they won the battle uh, of the screens, and, and so we just got to fight to win those. Ba basically, that was their whole strategy. Everybody knew it, that they were going to have to take a barrage of threes to keep up with you guys. Yeah, well, so that, that, to answer your question, that when, when things like that are happening, it puts more pressure on your offense. Your offense has to be more efficient. Your offense has to be more effective. And you have to look at the other side of the adjustment. And so uh, the hero out of bio pick and roll is dangerous in itself. And you start going to switching or you start, uh, you know, inching out to those guys and not having shifts. And then you're, you're, you're making that a two-on-two -two game with their two best players. Um, and so the, the first adjustment was to try to become more efficient on the offensive end. And, um, you know, we were able to do that in some stretches. Uh, I mean, it was, what, like a six to eight point game. And so it was, it was a two, three possession game. So with the team shooting 55% from three and you shooting 37%, you getting more shots than them and getting outshot by 11 for it to be a two possession game for the majority of the uh, fourth quarter, I think is, you know, you're looking to just be more efficient on the offensive end. Uh, mm -hmm. Once we got it down to like eight to ten, then they went to uh, the post ups or the out of bio shots, which you know those are those are the shots you would be giving up if you went to the switching or if you went to that. So uh, I think it just puts more pressure on your offense to be more efficient.